What's up everyone, it's Donji Kong, and today I'm gonna to show you how I am using ChatGPT and Obsidian to learn how to code basically anything I want. And this is all free, might I add, which is even better. And it also happens to be one of the best learning methods that I've ever used, better than any college courses I've taken. I mean, the rate I've been learning has been absolutely insane. And part of that is ChatGPT acts as a teacher, tutor, and the whole coursework itself all in one. And I use Obsidian to organize all of those results that I get into something that I can easily reference later thanks to Obsidian's extremely great way of organizing notes, which is by linking notes together, kind of like a website. So now that we know more about these tools, let's hop into it. And before we do that, actually, in the description, I've linked a longer intro that I already recorded where I basically go into my explanation of why I'm doing this this way more in depth. Let's get into it. Now, let me show you what we're going to be building today. We're going to be building this. And what you're looking at is a lesson plan for how to program ChatGPT plugins. And essentially what we're going to do is we're going to give ChatGPT the examples from their docs for how to build a ChatGPT plugin. And then we're gonna tell ChatGPT that based off of these docs, generate a lesson plan. And then we're gonna take that lesson plan and then for each of the lessons, we're gonna have sub lessons, which will go into more detail how to do each one with code examples. So for example, this says, to understand the code and build similar plugins, you'll need to learn the following topics of plugins working with JSON data in Python. And let's say we want to start with the first lesson. We're going to ask GPT to generate another lesson plan with code examples on reading and writing JSON data using the JSON module. And it will provide us code examples formatted in Markdown. And then we have this really great lesson plan that we can just jump through and continuously add to it by having it generate the next lesson, next lesson, and next lesson as we go. And this is extremely useful because in ChatGPT, there's this huge list of just unorganized mess. And it's way easier to view stuff like this, especially since there's this badass graph view that lets you see where no what notes are connected to other notes. And it just, it even color codes it. I can say, you know, group ChatGPT, Vim. Yeah, it's, it's just much easier to do than this. This view is really hard to navigate, so that's why I use Obsidian to go through my notes. Uh, so let's get into that. For this first step, we're going to take the docs and feed it into a prompt. So we're gonna say, what concepts in Python do I need to know to understand this documentation? That's gonna be the prompt that we're gonna use. And then we're gonna copy all of this. And we'll paste that in there. And then we will take this, define API endpoints, plug that in. And we'll copy that code right there. And I'm just using 3.5 for um, going a little faster. You can use 4.0 if you want more accurate results. Just for the purpose of this video, I decided to go a little faster. And boom, to understand this documentation, you will need to have basic understanding of the following concepts in Python. Python syntax, Flask or Quart frameworks, JSON, HTC methods, there we go. So now I'm gonna say, can you make sub lessons for that list? And this is where we start to get the breakdown of the lessons like we saw in the example that I've showed earlier. I left the prompts I use in the description below. And we don't need to start with all of this. We're just gonna go right here. I'll just copy whatever is available at the moment, just for example purposes. And we will go into Obsidian. And Obsidian lets you basically link notes, like I said, like a website. So we'll go here and we will paste that in right there. That's our lesson plan. And then, then you can add a fancy title, um, which you can do on your own. 
And then now we're basically going to take this right here and copy that. So now we're going to generate a lesson for that subtopic. And so I'm going to say, give me a lesson with code examples on this. And I'll paste that in there. And then we go like that. And the way that ChatGPT works is it generates its responses in Markdown. And Markdown is a special way of displaying text. It's kind of like a programming language, but not kind of like HTML, but a lot simpler. And just basically, that's how ChatGPT knows how to display code blocks in this nice format right here, where you can have the copy code. And it just so happens that Obsidian is a tool for Markdown. So let's copy all of this and paste it right into our Obsidian doc. So we did it for variables. In order to create a link on this document, all I have to do is surround it in brackets like that. Boom, boom. And now it's basically created that into its own page. Oh, and as we can see, we got our first thing right here that's explaining to us that um, it cannot have any characters like that. Fine, change that to a comma. There we go. And now, now we have our own page. So now we'll paste down, paste the results into this. Oh, but would you look at that? None of it's formatted. That's because the copy and paste does not actually work that well because it doesn't copy as markdown. It just copies it as the text displayed by the browser. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a Chrome plugin that copies it correctly in Markdown, which will then be able to be viewed properly in our Obsidian notes. So I have this um, plugin for Chrome, ChatGPT to Markdown, and that will essentially let us get this properly formatted. So let's click that. Let's re refresh that. And now you see we have the symbol here. We wanna see that Markdown symbol and we will click that. One thing to note about this plugin is it's currently flawed. I use this uh, other plugin called Dark Reader, which turns everything to dark mode. But as you can see, because the actual interface here is in dark mode, it all the text here is white and they chose a white background. So you can't really see what you're copying. But um, this Dark Reader app fixes, that's a, a plugin specific problem. So now let's copy our text right here. Okay, and we'll go into here and we'll paste that in. And now we can see our prompt, give me a lesson on this, and says, sure, here's a lesson on blah, 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 blah. And there we go. And now we have our first sub lesson or sub topic linked. And you can basically go down the list for all of this and link projects one by one by one. Another thing we can do here is if we wanna further organize our notes, we can make a backlink back to this area here. So let's say we titled this Learn Docs. So now we can go here, we can just press enter, 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 and then we can add in Learn Docs like that. And now we have, we can navigate back to where we originally came from. And so, that's how you basically link together all of your docs and make it really easy to navigate. Um, this is gonna be able to organize all of your prompts for not just learning how to code, but to basically do anything that you search up in ChatGPT. And it just makes it one of the best note-taking processes you could possibly use because it's like your second brain. You can basically search up and figure out anything, create lesson plans, go back to it, and dive deeper and deeper and deeper just by making more links, dive even deeper into your knowledge. And wow, I've been using this for myself and it is fantastic for recalling different notes. And that's the tutorial for today. Um, if you liked it, leave a like and subscribe. I'm gonna leave the two plugins, one for Firefox and one for Chrome for exporting the chat GPT results as Markdown so that it can be properly read by Obsidian.
thank you very much guys and i'm gonna hope you guys are looking forward to the next video i haven't decided what it's gonna be yet but i think it's gonna be cool so like and subscribe see you guys soon